Yay to reduce the tax rate. Yay. 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 All right. 6-1. Very good. Let's get through that. All right. 11, I mean, yeah, 11A. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Missouri City, Texas, adopting a vision and strategic plan, providing for appeal, and providing for severability. Here we go. Here it is, right here. <laughs> the plan. Mayor and Council, at your, uh, each of your spots, you do have a copy of tonight's presentation. In addition to that, and uh, this goes back to Councilman Smith's uh, comment, hadn't thought about it, but uh, provided to you a plan in brief. That is a uh, synopsis of this uh, plan that you've been working on, your strategic plan. Uh, it's handy to take along with you, and uh, if you're addressed with a question or have an uh, inquiry, then uh, it's available for you. So feel free to take that with you tonight as well. I want to start with the fact that, as you know, uh, part of this process is to take the collective vision of you, the City Council, come together and develop what is going to be the outlook for the community from now through, in this case, 2029. And you'll see, and purposely did this, on the cover sheet of the uh, plan that is 2014, 2019, and 2029. 2014 represents the, year, the current year we're in, and what we have, and you will see in this document tonight, and you'll see on a quarterly basis throughout the year, is an update of what is going on, what was identified as the plans that, and the projects that you wanted to see move forward during this year. And you'll see, again, in these quarterly uh, updates, the progress that has been made throughout the year. I'll cover a little bit of that tonight. And then uh, 2019 represents the five-year plan, the five-year strategic plan. I'll address that in, uh, in this presentation as well. And you've identified some of the larger concepts that you want to see accomplished during the five-year plan and the five-year uh, perspective. And then 2029, that speaks to your vision of the community, where we are, where we want to be ultimately uh, with this plan and all the incremental steps that we'll take between now and 2029 in accomplishing all of that. The process, as you know, you started this back in September, or excuse me, back in the spring. Uh, we did bring on a uh, consultant that worked with us as a third party. Uh, that was uh, Dr. Lyle Summick, and uh, he began with uh, working not only with you but with the staff and uh, the leadership team, and looking at a vision. And, and people ask, "What is a vision?" Well, a vision, as as defined by this plan, it's uh, again the 15-year perspective, but it's value-based principles that prescribe uh, the desired future or preferred future that you, the council, want to see. And that's based on the input you get from other members of the community and uh, your experiences as a council member. The other part of this, the, as you start moving down and narrowing down the, the perspective, the next is the plan. That's a strategic goals that focus on the outcome and uh, the objectives on a, the potential uh, of what will take place over the next five years. Then we look at the execution, and that's uh, once you've identified these goals, it's then given to the city manager set and staff, and we uh, begin execution of your, your desires through the vision and plan that you give us, and begin uh, looking at these on an annualized basis and on a project basis. Finally, the mission is uh, principles that define the responsibility of city government as, as an organization, as a group as we move forward and frame the primary services and the core services that we provide to the community. And then finally, uh, this is new and uh, we haven't done this before, and I, I haven't done it myself in, in the past in other cities, but uh, we looked at core beliefs, and that is the personal values that define performance standards and expectations for the employees within the organization as they relate to us providing services to the community and to the citizens. Going to the next part, uh, as we mentioned, we have the vision 2029. You worked very diligently on this, and uh, you know I think uh, it was interesting to, to watch and uh, see you uh, take piece by piece, and uh, purposely is written in that manner so that we can get uh, better clarity as to what you mean mm -hmm. by the vision. In this case, Missouri City 2029 is a great place to live, a premier community, inclusiveness, Beautiful, safe, active, enjoyable living. Missouri City 2029 has successful village centers at Texas Parkway in Siena, and a vibrant town center, 
at Highway 6 and the toll road and thriving major corridors. When you look at that, you, it does. It, it builds a picture and uh, gives everyone a vision, a true vision of what will happen in the future and something to strive toward. As you note on, the, uh, on this uh, slide, there are uh, subscript numbers and uh, they are, again, purposeful. These were uh, to better define what you meant by those different me uh, meanings. A pre premier community, principle one, which y'all identified, you spent a lot of time talking about each of these, but uh, a premier com community from your mind is a balance between residential and business. We talked about that tonight. Uh, residents taking pride in contributing to the Missouri City community. We've seen that tonight as well. Reputation is a great place for your family uh, to be raised and stay for a lifetime. Quality housing choices uh, for all life stages, from young professional families to children, seniors, and uh, making sure that we have multiple price points for uh, the public. Opportunities to live near work. Top quality public and private schools in Missouri City. Easy public transportation connected to Houston. A reputation as, quote, a great place to live, work, and enjoy life. And then a media recognizing Missouri City, the community, our success, our events and happenings, and, and making sure that that is a positive, uh, uh, that it's positive recognition that we receive as a community. Inclusiveness. He said that all are welcome. Celebrating the diverse culture, traditions, and festivals. Residents informed and engaged in civic and community activities. A reputation as an international city for trade and business. Effective two-way communication between the city and its residents. Residents understanding, supporting, respecting community and city standards. Community event recognizing and bringing all cultures together. So you can see the theme in there is that we recognize we are a diverse community. We want, we're a community of, uh, of people with different belief systems, of different wants and needs, and we want to make sure that everyone feels welcome in, that, in, in this community. Next, uh, the term beautiful. We look at being a well-designed and maintained corridor of districts and uh, business buildings. Buildings and homes meeting the city's maintenance and life safety codes, including strict enforcement. Attractive gateway entrances. Well-maintained city infrastructure, streets, sidewalks, etc. Well-designed and maintained neighborhoods and homes. Well-designed, maintained public buildings and spaces. Public art as a strategic location or in strategic locations throughout the city. Property owners that take pride in, in respons responsibility for the appearance of the buildings and landscape within the community and preservation of city history and heritage. The next, next item that you identified as, as part of what we want to see going forward is a, uh, being having one of the reputations of the safest city. We hear that and we echo that on a continual basis. Timely response to emergency calls. Uh, ironically, you had someone come and talk about that tonight. So again, we are living what we are, are striving to do. Low crime rate. Community prepared for a major disaster response and recovery. City police and fire departments working in partnership with the residents to create a safe community. City partnering with schools for safe schools. Residents and guests feeling safe at home in their neighborhoods and throughout the community. And a reputation, city tough on crime, criminal activity, and a safe water supply. So, uh, and again, that last statement, safety takes on many different uh, forms and fashions to people and, de and definitions, not only from uh, security, but also from the standpoint of the health and safety of our community. Active, enjoyable living. And again, this is uh, echoed again in other parts of the, the plan, but entertainment and programs at amphitheater and event park, we get a little specific about what we're looking to do. Range of top quality parks, variety of programs and activities on a recreational basis, activities uh, for senior programs and services, variety of community events and festivals, trails for walking and biking, evening and late night entertainment, restaurants and uh, bars, top quality municipal golf course enjoyed by residents and visitors, and programs for special needs. So uh, next, and this again is something that was talked about tonight, Pedestrian for, uh, having a successful village center at Texas Parkway in Siena. Focusing on pedestrian friendly walkable area, variety of residential opportunities and mixed use developments, destination for residents and visitors alike. Uh, 
streets for the attractive uh, streetscapes, public spaces, and businesses, active locations during the day and in the evenings, small locally owned retail businesses carrying unique products, variety of restaurants, opportunities for outdoor dining, supported by uh, surrounding neighborhoods and a range of entertainment opportunities. And uh, almost finished with this particular part, but I thought it, I thought it needed to be read out because as much as you think you uh, are apart, you are together. When you sit down and you actually see this and hear what was discussed tonight, it's right here. Vibrant Town Center at Tawi 6 and the Toll Road, major office complex with regional major, major businesses, mid-rise, mid mixed-use development, restaurants, entertainment, and residential opportunities, new business for employment opportunities, a metro station connection to Houston, major local retail necessary to support business residents and attracting visitors, major economic hub in Fort Bend County, alternative industrial targeting medical related businesses, research, international office, light manufacturing, range of housing, rental and ownership, and attractive landscaping, open space, and buildings that define the area. That's how you define a vibrant town center at Howie 6 and the Toll Road. And finally, thriving major corridors, uh, being attractive gateway signs, variety of successful businesses serving the needs of the residents, preserving land uses throughout and protective zoning, hotels and supporting restaurants and retail businesses, well-maintained attractive streets and streetscapes, mixed-use development, corridors contributing to a, a growth, uh, growing commercial tax base, major national businesses moving and having a presence along these corridors, and Metrolink uh, public transportation serving the corridors. So <clears throat> again, based on tonight's discussion, what y'all said was important, I think you nailed your vision. And I think the community would probably uh, agree that that is a good uh, vision of this community going forward over the next several years. Our mission and the mission of the city government of Missouri City is to provide municipal services in a financially responsible, customer friendly, and engaging our while engaging our residents. And uh, it's a tall order for us uh, on staff, but uh, we're here to do it. And it is an admirable uh, mission for us to, to strive toward. Again, and I won't I won't go through this. I think uh, I think the the uh, terms themselves in this case speak for themselves. But uh, you know the well defined municipal services that are provided. Uh, making sure we have the right people on the, on the bus, to, to uh, use a cliche, uh, financially responsible, and we hope to strive to do that every day. Again, we talked about leveraging our dollars, leveraging others' dollars, and making sure that the city uh, has the ability to take care of what it needs. Um, I think we do a very good job with that, developing long-range financial plans. We've worked very, very diligently on that. Uh, annual budgeting is, is uh, taken very seriously. And as you talked about the tax rate tonight, again, you all are taking it very seriously in what's needed for the future. Customer friendly. And we'll talk about this through another program, uh, CARES, in a few moments about uh, customer service. But again, being friendly, pro uh, providing a high level of customer satisfaction and learning from feedback, taking on uh, and explaining the reasons for city's actions, and uh, trying to find an alternative other than no as an answer when people ask about service. Engaging our residents, again, providing timely information, uh, using neighborhoods, town hall meetings to share information, uh, providing state-of-the-art technology, linking the city to the, to the residents, and uh, listening to the entire community. So, uh, again, uh, speaking, uh, speaking it tonight as you have been holding your meeting, you've been talking about these things. That gets us to, and I apologize, let me get ahead of myself, but... Uh, one of the things that you, the council, brought forward to us during this process was, and you came up with the acronym CARES, and uh, two things. You, you talked about CARES from the standpoint of customer service, but you also talked about team. And so we have uh, termed this Team CARES, and this being uh, CARES standing for compassion, action, respect, excellence, and service as it relates to customer service standards and core values of the community. Team, uh, and again, you, the city council, defined each of these terms as they relate to the belief system that uh, makes up CARES, but the team is uh, working together for a common goal, 
helping others work, uh, work units and team members to be successful in achieving their goals. Community in an open and, and direct manner, and we try to practice that on the, the staff level on a daily basis. Uh, celebrating team successes, knowing your duties and responsibility, focusing on city first, then the department, or in this case, maybe your districts, using the city's uh, team's vision, mission goals to guide daily operations and activities, work with others to resolve conflicts when they arise and know the names and responsibilities of team members, collaborating with others, to provide services and complete a project. Compassion as it, as it relates to cares is that we listen to others, give 100% effort. We, uh, having a positive attitude, a can-do attitude, taking pride in our areas of service and projects, bringing energy and enthusiasm to the organization, genuinely caring about others, your colleagues and your customers, striving to understand others before making a judgment, being loyal to the city, mayor, city council, and city manager. In other words, being uh, loyal to one another. Actions, again, holding self and others accountable, completing assigned tasks, providing accurate, thorough information, answering uh, phone and uh, communications in a timely manner, putting your name on the product in, or the service that you provide, providing fair, balanced, thorough staff reports, taking actions consistent with the city vision, mission, and goals, uh, respect, acting with integrity, following through and delivering on your commitments and comments and promises, show up, be, be punctual, doing the right thing, especially when no one's looking, uh, respecting the different roles and responsibilities of the city team, providing fair day's work for fair day's pay, complying with city laws, rules, and policies, Present a, a positive image for the city through the way in which you wear your uniform, maintain your equipment and your workspace, expressing your opinions in a respectful manner, acting consistently with personal and professional ethics, and treating everyone with respect. Excellence, doing the best, po delivering best possible services, doing the right job right the first time, creating a work environment that encourages, supports creative thinking developing and maintaining your knowledge and skill sets, uh, providing clear options, recommendations to decision makers, uh, our obligation to you, looking for ways to reduce costs and delivering excellent services, and then service, providing timely response to customers, looking for ways to say yes. If you must say no, take time to explain the reasons, rationale behind your actions, looking for ways to enhance and improve city services, looking for ways to engage, involve the community, striving to exceed customer expectations, and striving to provide best practices when available resources and wow service that customers brag about, and finally helping a customer understand the city policies, regulations, and requirements. We commit uh, as staff uh, to the council, this is the re request of you, and we commit to try to make these things happen. Again, uh, this is divided up into three areas. That was, uh, we have the first year and then we have five-year goals. The five-year goals for 2019, create a great place to live that's safe, beautiful, and active. Maintain a financially sound city government, effective quality services and infrastructure. Grow business investments in Missouri City. More businesses, more jobs. Develop a high performance city team, working together and producing results and have quality development throughout, build out, active centers, neighborhoods, housing, and mobility. And, and again, year in and year out, that's what we strive, we will strive to do when we present our plans. Okay, well, I mentioned that uh, we were looking at uh, 2014 through 2029, and uh, then also 2014 to date. We began this process, as I mentioned, back in the spring, and. Uh, so we will strive each quarter to come to you, present to you the uh, goals that you have set for us, and, the, and some of them are uh, council-directed goals, and others are ones that we as a staff brought forward. Uh, in the fourth quarter of uh, 2014, uh, what, the way this report will work is if we did not accomplish a goal or we're not w far enough along with a goal, then it will be represented in red. And I just wanted to note that uh, all of the uh, particular projects that you see before you in regard to this are uh, accomplished uh, to date. 
as far as those from April 2014 through June 2014. Um, I won't go through those, but uh, we'll also strive to provide adequate information as far as where we stand and where we'll be heading with these things if there's additional steps to be taken in the future. Finally, I wanted to, uh, we, being that this is the first time it's been presented, wanted to uh, also present to you the first quarter of fiscal year 2015, which is July 2014 through uh, September of 2014, which we just concluded. And again, um, as you will see, there are some of the particular objectives that are on here that were uh, accomplished tonight. Uh, one being the traffic traffic plan presentation that, that was one thing and it's been accomplished tonight um, you'll be seeing a few that we were not able to get due to timing we were not able to get on the agenda until uh, next meeting one being the uh, veterans memorial which we uh, commit will be on the october 20th uh, agenda for accomplishment as far as being able for instance to uh, get acceptance and ask for you to adopt a new mission statement for the Veterans Memorial Committee so we can move forward. So again, uh, we, we commit to you that we'll be coming back and oh, keeping man. you informed on this. This is a document that we want to keep as a living document. We'll continue to update on a continual basis. Uh, it's for not only you, but staff for accountability purposes. And uh, also for the uh, public, we're gonna uh, be working on our website to provide an enhanced overview of uh, the strategic plan on a, a present basis and where we stand with things. So uh, we'll continue to work on that. Uh, also, we'll be working on a newsletter that will go out to the public that outlines all the information that's in here tonight. And uh, again, it's about accountability. And then um, we'll be uh, in the near future, we're working on it right now, but Upon adoption uh, tonight, if you so choose, we will be um, putting up some uh, throughout the room different, uh, I call it artwork, but it basically represents the missions and the uh, values and so forth that have just been covered. They will be here so that the general public, when they are here, they know what we're here to do. And uh, it'll be a reminder to us as well of what we're here to do and how we'll do it. So um, with that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, sure, Ed as well. So, Bill, we're we going to put all of this on our website. Yes, sir. People, to... we're working on that. We didn't want to do it until you adopted it. So, over the next few weeks, we'll be working with uh, Stacy and Communications Department to uh, to do that. Just that. I think that which triggered this was our uh, our off site. Uh, I'm trying to. He doesn't want. That's a word he doesn't want me to use. Uh, with with Lau, so Mike, so and that was a that was a, a segment that was uh, directed towards council. Am I right on that, Ed? There was there was a component. Bill and I were talking about this earlier today. Yeah. Find my notes on what we had called that one. There's a house rule code of conduct and civility for the mayor and council, um, and then I think that was the main document that you're referencing. So if we were, if we uh, ratify this tonight. That's still a, we'll still have to go over this and, and get a clear understanding of that so we can collectively uh, okay that's am I, am I that's right, right. right. Okay. yes sir. so this is this is basically geared towards staff yes sir this is step staff one in the okay. community. step one yeah yes sir well then we we need to get cracking on this because right <laughs> now the, uh, the tail is wagging the dog we should set that example from a council standpoint and it seems to me well, I have to applaud you for, for going forth and, and moving on with this thing here. We got to catch up with you guys. So is that your motion? Yes. Second. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, that's my motion. Okay. <laughs> second by Councilman White. Anyone else have comments? And so the, um, there's another part that we're going to go over with uh, in reference to council and the protocol for staff. Yeah, well, there y'all did for y'all had the retreat, and so there's the house rules for code of conduct and civility mm -hmm. uh, that y'all went through. I mean, this one to which this can be brought to y'all for adoption too. Mm -hmm. Our main thing is on the strategic plan, which is the vision for the city and those things that we're doing and are important to us. We needed to get that adopted and through. Well, I'm not trying to speak for Council Member Smith, but I think there was some codes of code of con uh, code of um, what did you call it? Conduct. 
yeah, conduct that, and civility. Yeah, of conduct that um, he wanted to address and I wanted to address that we had talked about. So I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't a part of it. Correct. Okay. What, what y'all are adopting is what Bill had just kind of okay. spent all the time mm -hmm. had gone over with y'all. Okay. From the city's perspective. Correct. The city meaning staff and the city as a whole. Sorry. Any other comments? There was a motion in the second. Did you have any comments, Robin? Oh. All those in favor? Motion carries. Anything else? Any announcements or? Nothing at all.